Papillary Thyroid Cancer PTC Papillary thyroid cancer PTC is the most common type of thyroid cancer, accounting for about 80% of all thyroid cancer cases. It typically develops in the cells that produce and store thyroid hormones. PTC is generally slow-growing and has a relatively favorable prognosis compared to other types of thyroid cancer. Symptoms of papillary thyroid cancer 1. Thyroid nodule The most common initial symptom is the presence of a painless lump or nodule in the thyroid gland. 2. Neck enlargement As the cancer progresses, there may be an observable enlargement or swelling in the neck. 3. Difficulty swallowing Larger tumors or those compressing nearby structures may lead to difficulty swallowing. 4. Hoarseness or voice changes Pressure on the recurrent laryngeal nerve can result in hoarseness or changes in voice quality. 5. Pain in the neck and throat Pain or discomfort in the neck or throat area may occur, especially as the tumor grows. 6. Enlarged lymph nodes Swollen lymph nodes in the neck may be palpable. Diagnosis of papillary thyroid cancer Thyroid ultrasound used to evaluate the characteristics of thyroid nodules and identify suspicious features. Fine needle aspiration FNA Biopsy, the gold standard for diagnosing thyroid nodules. A small tissue sample is extracted from the nodule for examination. FNA helps determine whether the nodule is benign or malignant, and if malignant, the specific type of cancer. Thyroid scan, radioactive iodine is used to create images of the thyroid, identifying areas with abnormal activity. Papillary thyroid cancer often takes up iodine, which can aid in diagnosis and treatment planning. Blood tests, measurement of thyroid hormone levels and thyroid stimulating hormone, TSH. Elevated thyroglobulin levels may suggest the presence of thyroid cancer. Imaging studies, CT scans, MRI or PET scans may be used to assess the extent of cancer spread, staging. Genetic testing, molecular testing may be performed to identify specific genetic mutations associated with PTC. Treatments for papillary thyroid cancer. Surgery, total or near-total thyroidectomy involves the removal of the entire thyroid gland or most of it. Lymph node dissection may be performed if cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes. Radioactive iodine therapy, used after surgery to destroy any remaining thyroid tissue and target cancer cells. PTC cells often absorb iodine, making this treatment effective. Thyroid hormone replacement, hormone replacement therapy with levothyroxine is essential to maintain normal thyroid function after surgery. Ongoing monitoring, regular follow-up appointments, blood tests and imaging studies are conducted to monitor for recurrence. External beam radiation. In some cases, external beam radiation may be used, especially if the cancer has spread to surrounding tissues. Targeted therapy. Medications targeting specific pathways may be considered for advanced or recurrent cases. Prognosis and risks of papillary thyroid cancer. The prognosis for papillary thyroid cancer is generally excellent, with a high survival rate. Early detection and appropriate treatment contribute to favorable outcomes. PTC may recur, especially if there are residual cancer cells or if it has spread to other parts of the body. While PTC tends to grow slowly, it can metastasize to nearby lymph nodes or, in rare cases, distant organs. With appropriate treatment and ongoing monitoring, individuals with PTC can lead normal, healthy lives. Surgery and radioactive iodine therapy may have side effects such as changes in voice quality or difficulty swallowing. Individuals diagnosed with papillary thyroid cancer should work closely with a multidisciplinary healthcare team, including endocrinologists, surgeons and oncologists, to determine the most appropriate treatment plan and ensure regular monitoring for long-term management. Early detection and comprehensive care significantly contribute to positive outcomes in individuals with papillary thyroid cancer. Stay healthy and thanks for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to our channel for more health-related contents. The information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. 
Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have read or heard in this content. If you think you may have a medical emergency, call your doctor or emergency services immediately.